Hey guys, so it is Thursday, don't know the date, um, and what happened yesterday, because I did a Q&A for you guys so you wouldn't know, yesterday I spent the morning sorting out the shop, um, and I also designed the new OTD gym clothing, which is really cool, it's got a new slogan on the back and a uh, new design, I'm so excited, like I was a bit shocked that I invented it, you know, where you're like, you kind of outdo yourself a bit, you're like, whoa, did I really do that? Um, so I'm really excited to launch it beginning of next year, probably January. Um, what else happened? Oh, I had a phone conversation with um, Andrea Bales from Natural Solutions, which is my um, nutritionist. And we went over my programme. So the programme's going to start tomorrow and I've got two days of detox, which is so hard. I have to cut my breakfast in half, have that, and then at lunch have like a homemade vegetable soup, and then at night have a plate of vegetables. I have to do that for two days. Um, it's like to detox your body, which will be fine, but I'm, I'm just gonna not exercise much because obviously I won't have much fuel going in. And then I start 14 days of like a, a quite a strict diet. Um, and breakfasts are quite weird because a lot of people are like, what are you gonna eat now? You can't have a banana pancake. Um, so one morning is cheese, vegetables, a slice of rye bread and some fruit um, and I have to do that I have to have my breakfast lunch and dinner uh, five hours apart apparently that's really important and it's the only time I'm allowed to eat um, I have to drink two and a half liters of water a day but anyway I'm going into loads of detail it's exciting um, and I'll take you guys on the journey with me obviously it's specifically done to me so if you're gonna try and copy it it might not be right for your body type um, so be careful of that but I'm, I'm just so excited because I just feel so like, oh, my face is getting fatter and fatter and I can see it in the videos, like when I'm editing, like all here. <laughs> anyway. So on the agenda today is lots and lots and lots and lots of riding. Um, now I'm meant to have seven to ride, but I'm just not gonna be able to fit it in. So I'm going to do the three-year-olds tomorrow. I'm riding Annie for Frankie because she's now away with her son. Um, what else? Oh, I've got a phone call at 1 p.m. on a mindset chat with someone, which would be really cool. I love doing those. So I've got that one. I might go to the gym later, but I've got to go shopping as well and get ready for Facebook Live. And I've got Facebook Live. So, um, yeah, busy day. I'm excited. But anyway, let's... Go! Will be. You ready for school? So our lovely Frankie brought us this. How cool is that? Caramel peanuts, a bag of sugar, <laughs> tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Last day. Get it in. When I get a quiet minute, I need to talk to you guys about riding Wilf. 
Eagle was okay. Had a slight issue on Wilf. Just telling them the news about what? Life. Bye, guys. Frankie, what a ledge, eh? What a ledge. But yeah, wait till I get some more time because I'm about to get on Annie now. Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten any yet. <gasps> Literally, yeah. I'm going to put the ears on. I can't breathe, but How do, do, I, I, do I look cool? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to put my nose on. Oh, that's better. I've got my nose on the right way now. <laughs> we need a Christmas song on the radio and then we need to be wearing it. So horses are all ridden. I've now got a phone call on mindset with a lovely client. Um, and then I'm not really sure what's happening. I will start vlogging more now. I'm really sorry that I just can't get any footage of me riding at the moment because we're just so busy. But I need to talk to you guys about it later. It's called Parkinson's Law. And it's the longer you give, the longer amount of time you give yourself to do something, you just fill that gap. So, phone conversation is done. It went really well. Um, now I'm gonna get some food. Hi kids. Hi. Hi. Avocado. And toast. That's irrigation. Mm -hmm. oh, this so we're just gonna get the girls in and uh, the boys. The youngsters, that's what I meant to say. You right, mum? Oh, I'm fine. I'm old. She's old. <laughs> She's old. I'm Everybody. old. I'm ready for retirement. Mum wants to retire. Mum is retiring. Oh. She's retiring from the lavish lifestyle. <laughs> mucking out. <laughs> of mucking no out. No more mucking out. No more poo picking. Yeah, Mum's giving up the poo picking and the mucking out, which is great. Finally. And then I'm going to bug Olivia more so she'll have to listen to me. Then she's going to say, don't pin your hands down. Don't stand up in your stirrups. Don't, don't ride like, ride that. like me. Do as I say. Don't do as, don't do as I do. Do as I say. Then I'm going to have my new pony who's been given to me. Oh yeah, Mum's got Dexter now. So we're on our way to Grand Prix. Diesel? Diesel? What are you doing? Everybody, this is my grandpa. And my grandma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glamorous grandma. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and teach Laura now. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. They're just the cutest. Anyway, right, I'm going to go and help Laura with... Angel, and then I'm gonna go food shopping for the big diet tomorrow, and then edit tonight's video, then Facebook Live. I need to talk to you guys about what happened on Wilf as well. Major. <laughs> so outside rain, outside leg, and just like guide that. I kind of think about like a lunge pen, and they're outside of the bodies on the lunge pen, so just bring it around. You don't want their shoulder to hit the cage. Yeah, good, good. It's better. Okay, and then let's just change the rein and have a look the other way. Now, when you change the rein, again, ride on a line. Don't bend her in the neck. Just keep her shoulder straight. Don't worry what she's doing with her head. Keep the rhythm from your rising. And just keep control of the shoulder. That's much better. Good. Laura's loving her lessons at the moment, aren't you, Laura? Dressage is for idiots. Laura says dressage is for idiots. I mean, she's got a point. It is a pretty cray cray sport. I was having a lovely time, cantering around off the bit until I came here. 
She said I was having a lovely time cantering around off the bit till I came here. <laughs> oh dearie me! I can't wait for my little double chin to go. This is this is the video that I'm gonna look at if I wanna eat cake. <laughs> Do you want your dinner? Do you want your dinner? Oh, they're all hungry. Vegetable shopping time. <laughs> So I just had to pop into Boots to get some Epsom salts because it's for day one of detox and that's literally all I'm saying on the subject. The cupcakes are not for me. Welcome to the OTD cooking show. So basically I'm making my vegetable soup for tomorrow lunch and then I've just got vegetables in the evening. So that's pretty easy. It's a lot of vegetables. So while I'm cooking, I'll tell you about this morning, um, riding Wilf. So I got on Wilf and everything was fine, did some piaf, that was fine, and then I started working him and I just couldn't get into like a routine and it all just didn't feel very good. Um, but I know what it is, it's because I haven't been to a show and I haven't had a lesson for a while so I'm, well I, I tend to drift around a bit if I don't do this, like if I don't have like specific goals and even though I still am following my goal plan um, to do the into two, like, I need smaller goals in between that because, like, for Wilf to get to into two, it's quite a big goal, even though it's for my February goal. I need other goals in between. Um, oh, I've got onion in my eye. Anyway, I just got, ups like, I just got upset on Wilf. And then I got upset because I didn't have any footage of me riding. And I knew that that's what you guys like seeing. And then I was just getting frustrated that maybe the vlog wouldn't be as good as I wanted it to be. And again, I just got stressed out. And then, um... <laughs> um Anyway, and then before I got an eagle, I googled Bible verses to deal with frustration and read a few and then got an eagle and I was fine and rode and I was fine. So um, I know that obviously doesn't apply to everyone and that like, it's not advice, it's just how I dealt with it and there's obviously different ways of dealing with it but I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's important to have things to look towards otherwise you can end up drifting around a little bit and I get very much fixated on one thing. Um, getting that right instead of going right I'm going to work on like the the, the trot first and the canter and I'm going to do this in that and this in that I get fixated on like oh well the left bend's just not perfect at the moment so well like today it was the left half pass or the left half pass just isn't good enough um and then when I start to get into that negative mindset even if it was like probably how it normally is I still wouldn't be happy because I've just fixated on it it's called like the spotlight effect and you keep fixating on like the negative things and it gets worse and worse and worse. So um, yeah, what's she doing? Hey. Uh, no, that's about all I had to say really on that subject. But the rest of the horses were really good, so that's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on cooking. <laughs> 